This is a nice place to be. Can she have a seat right here? Can I? Thanks. Eat breakfast. Wow. What are we having? Oh, thank you so much. I'd love a waffle. You have an extra? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 2030 is about being making the Quad Cities uh, cool, creative, prosperous, and connected. And when we talk about creative, the number one thing we talk about is our youngest uh, having the support and the network they need so they can become uh, uh, all they want to be and have all the assets that the community can provide so they can step into uh, uh, leading our businesses, leading our nonprofits, making the Quad Cities uh, an even more grand place than it is now. And so the support of the Y and the organizations that help uh, our kids uh, uh, get on the right path is, is going to pay dividends to the Quad Cities in the future. One of the things that's been touching to me about the Y, and it, and it also demonstrates the value of the Y to the community, has been the stories you hear. And the theme of those stories, every one of those stories in the 25 years I've been involved with the Y has one theme. And they seem to be around the theme of what a difference the Y makes. And that difference is most impactful for the, a lot of the people that couldn't have experienced it without some level of support. And that level of support allowed them to get in and experience the why and begin to crawl, walk, run to change their lives and go to different places than they may not have been able to without the why. So I always ask the question, what if the why weren't there? And, and the impact the why would, wouldn't have if it weren't here would be significant, a significant hole for our community. Well, I would say to all my friends, colleagues, people that live in this community, we all own this conversation. And so it's important that uh, everyone step forward and do their part. And that really means investing your time, investing your treasure, and helping to support and fund these initiatives. And you know, I'm so proud of the work the Women's Leadership Council did in bringing together 100 women and then many more women who are now out telling the story of the importance of having facilities like this uh, for our youngest citizens and uh, making sure that they uh, have every asset they need to start their life uh, uh, for a great future. Well, I would say, friends, that the best thing we can all do to help the Y is to go out and talk to our friends and our associates about how they can invest in the Y. That means write a check, uh, give some time, because it is very easy to do, because the Y is the best story in the world you can tell. And so step out there, try it out, you'll find it's fun, and people will step up and say, yes, I'd love to help. Nice job.